All right, so here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said 
that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Topuria's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Back and forth we go. Nice counter shot there. Can't see jump. Back and forth, the submission defense wins this transition. Now he's got his arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish his technique. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. And now he's got the back. Nicely done. Topuria's got the full mount. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, good ground and pound here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Islam Makasha. Now he's going full mount. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Topuria's in half guard. Let's go. We got a scramble. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. He's getting the ball here. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, try to pass here. As Gilbert Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. So Pudi is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, round two. Well, in that previous round, it didn't look like we would get to this next round, DC, but here we are. He had him hurt very, very badly, but he could not find that last shot to shut the lights out, to close the door. He couldn't close the door, but that's a testament to his opponent being able to recover when he got hurt real bad. Well, hard to imagine we would get this late in the fight and have the BJJ practitioner not attempt a single takedown. What gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening 
or maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect from this guy. It is, it is, a, I mean, I cannot believe what we are watching. Unable to connect with a rifle. Wow, actually got the takedown. There's his jab. Right hand by the champ, yeah. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Back to the single. Armbar. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ilya Topuria. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. <laughs> Big right hook there by the champ. Just over two minutes to go. <laughs> and the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Makashev's now dealing with a cheap cut. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Single. <laughs> Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Islam Akasha. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Makashev's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Makashev's able to transition back to side control now. The hard ground and pound is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. 20 seconds to go round two. Topuria getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right,
back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible fall. So putting his hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Chef's trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Attacking all ball. Oh, oh, he escaped. He got he out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. He's got to be careful here. Oh, right into Mount. Just over three minutes to go. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Softened up here. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut it. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Ilya Topuria. Drops down inside the now closed ground of his opponent. Let's see how big he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he lands another takedown here. Just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent, now he's attacking arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Topodia gets back up here. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he 
as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I have. <laughs> All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding a shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to. That was really bad. Oh. Lamakashev gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke oh. is tight. Oh, submission attempts and punches tonight. He's got it in. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He's starting start to stick the elbow. Oh, oh my gosh. How'd he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. Oh, I'm no expert, but that ball flew choke puts locked in. How in the world did he escape that submission? Tokoria gets back up. A little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area. Too. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over. Oh, huge elbow! Throwing that jab, no good. Nice body shot there. Beautiful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Islam Lakasha. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. 
Well, Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Under a minute to go. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. And if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Topuria gets caught with that punch. 15 seconds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. It is the fifth and final round. Topunia gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. Nice, solid punch lands. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this early. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Makashi. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, pose your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands. Break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Under three minutes now to go round five. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control, got to watch his neck. Ooh, that looks tight. Might be the beginning of the end. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. 
Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear chokes in this. All right, very late in the fight now, DC. I know we don't have open scoring, but correct me if I'm wrong, he needs a submission or he's losing this fight. He is not a big puncher, so he needs to get this fight to the ground and chase the submission. Topuria's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Nice jab. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Immediately gets the underhook. All right, there it is. Another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later? Well, I think it's I think it's all it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here! Oh, got to protect your neck. Team oh. choke is locked in. Nice defense. Oh, man, he's still targeting that cut, and it is getting worse by the minute. One minute to go in the fight. That was a slick transition. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Reverses the position there. Nice transition by Ilya Topuria. Lands a nice punch from his back. Topuria is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, he's got his back. Waning seconds of this fight. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Islam Makasha. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam. Gotcha. All right, so there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds.